All right, guys, so in a previous video, we installed uh, a full exhaust system on a 2016 Dyna S. You can watch the exhaust install video over here. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is um, installing the computer to alter the fuel and ignition maps and curves and whatnot. Okay, so I have seen people just do the exhaust changes and feel they don't need the power programmer. And I would say that is a huge mistake. You definitely need the power programmer. Bikes are lean from the factory. They're marginal at best with stock exhaust and air cleaner. And then people throw all these mods on and they don't address the fuel or ignition. I mean, there is performance gains. Uh, it'll run better. You just, you just got to do it. Think of it as a complete package. If you do exhaust or air intake, you got to do the programmer or jet the carbs or whatever, but in this case, it's fuel injected, so we are just doing this uh, programmer. And I will say, after messing around with millions of carbs, installing one of these programmers is super easy. Um, it's, it's just way easier than messing with carbs, because if you ever are jetting carbs, it's usually not a one-shot deal. You'll jet the carbs, and then you gotta pull the carbs back out and make another change, and it's just a huge pain in the butt. So this, just loading a new tune, super easy. Okay, so we're going to be installing the DinoJet 15-039 Power Commander. The link will be in the video description. That's an Amazon link that supports me at no cost to you, so please use that link. But definitely shop around. It, it may not be the cheapest price, okay? Also, you can buy me a beer or check out my Patreon page if this video helps you out. Okay, another thing, I'm not going to be covering software in this video or how to load a map, okay? It's pretty self-explanatory in the instructions. It's just that um, my computer's in my basement and I had to run a USB cable up the stairs and out the back door and hook it up to the bike and it was just a huge pain in the butt from my setup. I got a computer now, but three years ago I didn't when I did this footage. Okay, also, um, when I installed this programmer on this brand new bike back in 2016, they, uh, DinoJet actually didn't have a kit or tunes for this bike. They simply, um, we actually got the wrong one sent to us by mistake from the vendor and then we get, we verified with DinoJet and we did get the right one eventually. However, they did not have specific tunes for this bike at that time. Now they might, but at the time they did not. So I loaded the closest one, which was an open exhaust and an air cleaner mod, okay? And then it ran pretty good, but I did have some D-cell pop. And here's how I took care of it. I went into the uh, map or the, the tune and added more fuel and more timing in this range, which was 0% throttle. So your TPS sensor is reading 0% and below 2,000 RPM. So here's the situation. You are riding the bike, you're on the throttle, all of a sudden you chop the throttle Throttle goes to zero and you're decelerating. Usually at higher RPMs, you don't get decel pop. And then on this bike, it was popping under 2000. So what I did is I added more fuel and more timing. And the idea was that more fuel and more timing would ignite the mix in the combustion chamber, not in the pipes. And that's basically what popping is, is it can't ignite in the combustion chamber it goes into the pipes and it hits hot metal and other stuff and it just ignites. So more fuel, I think I did like three to three percent roughly and like one to two degrees of timing. Okay, so that's it in just that little specific area and it greatly reduced the popping. Okay, I'm done talking. We'll just get on with the install. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just get right into it. All right, so we have to delete the O2 sensors and the DinoJet kit comes with uh, these optimizers which are basically O2 deletes. All it does is bypass it. So that's a nice word for it. Okay, so if I squeeze over here, see these tabs? Squeeze them, open this guy up, and it exposes all these connectors. So undo that, plug this guy in, and 
move the O2 sensor, and there's a little clip there. So we'll just save that. And that clips back in there. O2 optimizer. All right, let's pop this cover off. There's a little clip under, under here. Pop it up and out. Okay, to remove the seat, there's a Phillips number three screw right here. The seat just pops off. All right, very simple. Okay, under here, if you pull on the O2 sensor wire, it's this guy right here. Go ahead and pop that off. Put in your optimizer plug. All right, and you're done there. Not sure where this came off of. There's a zip tie here that we're gonna have to snip. feed the O2 out. Okay, so they want us to install this here and route the wires down through here and connect them to these two connectors. So we'll go ahead and undo them. Okay, we're interested in these red and black ones here. I'm sorry, black and white. Pull these red things out and then you can depress the lever. Those will pop right out. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get this mess through here. It's a tight squeeze. Okay, I got half of the mess through there. Barely enough room. All right, one more connector. All right. Whew. Up a sweat here. Okay, they can only go one way, so that's really nice. So basically you're teeing into the stock system here. And they basically want these zip tied here. Well, those zip ties are not working for me. So I'm just gonna kind of shove it all in there. As far as the module itself, I just found a spot in here. I didn't Velcro it or anything. It's pretty tight in there. This is so crammed in here, I don't know if it's gonna get cleaned up all that well. Uh, after I put a few maps on it, or you know, after I mess around with which map I like, and if I have to do any additional tuning, then maybe I'll go back and clean it up. But for now, I just stuck it in there, and it has to be easily accessible for the USB plug. All right, guys, for us, so as far as uh, putting a map on this, uh, it was super simple. I followed the directions in here. I installed the uh, software on my PC, um, and I would totally walk through this part if I had a laptop, but my PC is in my basement, so it's a little more complicated showing that in the video. But anyway, once you install the software, uh, you can also go back and select your year, make, and model and see what maps are available. I downloaded one map that uh, had a two-in-one exhaust and a screaming air filter for this. That's probably the most common one uh, for this. Uh, I don't know. I can try a few others. It's no big deal. Basically, you download the map, and once you have the software up, um, you connect 
the power programmer to your USB and then you basically uh, open a map so you point to where you downloaded it and then you just hit one button it says send map boom you're done Alright, that's it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button and share this with your riding buddies. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified right away when new videos come out. If you'd like to support me in creating more videos such as this one, check out my Patreon page and see if you can help me out. You can also buy me an ice cold beer or two by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.